Latest updates on deadlines for document submissions. In today's video update, we will discuss about deadlines for document submission to Immigration Refugees and Citizenship Canada during the COVID-19 pandemic. It has been over a year since COVID-19 has taken a grip on the world, affecting immigration applicants in Canada since the borders are still shut for traveling. It has become a real problem since the applicants are unable to gather their documents as the public offices and institutions are also shut until further notice. operating schedules and in some cases, full closures of consular services and visa application center offices are making the current situation even worse, as it is nearly impossible to send out the passport for stamping or submit biometric information without complete application processing. The situation become worse after India was hit by the third wave of coronavirus, making the current situation worse than before. The rise in COVID cases forced the Canadian High Commission to announce the closure of all but most urgent consular services on 3 May 2021. Therefore, VFS centres closed for regular services indefinitely. The current situation occurred last year also, when VFS centres in India were closed during the beginning of the pandemic in March 2020 and resumed in late November. There is no confirmed news about the reopening of centers, and the applicants have to wait for the processing of their applications, however, some positive developments would at least alleviate some concern. When VFS centers reopen, the deadlines for passport submission and biometric collection would be extended to 30 days and 90 days, respectively. This means that no further action is required from applicants presently and the letters they have received will be valid despite expired dates, once things get back to normal. However, this scenario does not apply to all countries. In countries where visa application centers have reopened, there will no longer a blanket waiver of deadlines, and candidates are expected to produce the required documents on time. In those circumstances, Immigration Refugees and Citizenship Canada will contact each applicant to submit their required documents, if available, or provide them the opportunity to explain how COVID affected the delay. IRCC would be flexible in granting extended time, but they will be looking for explanations like citywide pandemic lockdown forced closures or temporary closure of regional visa application center in order to grant the request. If IRCC finds your request reasonable, you would get 30 additional days to submit your documents. However, if they do not find a justifiable answer, they would finish processing the application based on information they have on file, which may likely result in a refusal. Applicants must check the official IRCC website for latest updates. Consult an immigration lawyer if you are unable to figure out the right way to proceed. Our video ends here. If you have any questions, please comment below and share your thoughts with us. Thanks for watching today's update.